Hey guys, welcome back. So I have been kind of hoarding and collecting some things. I've picked up some things here, there, and everywhere else. So today I thought we would do like a collective haul. I have makeup, perfume, decor, all kinds of stuff to talk about from Ulta, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, Amazon, you name it. So I kind of wanted to jump on here real quick and show you like all the things that I have accumulated lately because I know you guys love hauls. So I'm going to make this as quick as I can so we're just going to jump right in. I'll start with Ulta. First thing I picked up from Ulta was this Makeup Revolution Aqua Seal Liquid uh, Eyelid Primer. This basically is just a little dropper. As you can see it's liquid and then you just rub it in like you normally would. And the first couple times that I tried this, my eyes were burning really badly, and I don't know if it's from this or from something else, but I'm going to give it a couple more tries. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet, but I did pick it up. The next thing I picked up from Ulta is also from Makeup Revolution, and this is their Ultra Strobe Balm, and I'm not sure how many shades they have, but this is in the shade Euphoria, and it looks like a pearly pink, I mean like almost opaly sort of shade. It has a really nice pearlescence to it and it's called a balm because it is more of like a creamy consistency but when I put it on I just find that it's like a little too pink so I don't know how I feel about that. You can kind of see how it's more like pink than like white and pearly so I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't really want like a pink highlight um, but I did pick it up and we're gonna try it out. And the last thing that I picked up from Ulta, I had to have this. I, ugh. This is the Ari perfume by Ariana Grande. Not like a huge fan of hers or anything. But this smells so good. It's so, so sweet. I felt for a long time that it was like too sweet. So I didn't pick it up, didn't pick it up. But every time I go there, I smell it and I'm just like, ugh, in a euphoria. So I just, I just got it. I don't know. It's really pretty. It smells amazing. I get lots of compliments on it. I love this. Okay, let's just get this out of the way because it's bigger. My boyfriend got me this mirror on Amazon and it's really, really cool. Um, it has these side panels and it turns on woo, and turns off. And then there's also a little plug in the back. I'm going to show you a little USB so you can charge your phone or whatever. So I thought that was really cool. I think it's really neat. It has a little tray down here to keep all your stuff. If that's the extent of the stuff that you have, I don't know. Um, but it tilts, opens, moves. I like it a lot. So far, so good. Thank you, Josh. Next, I will show you what I picked up at the Walgreens. Okay, first is a repurchase. This is the Cody Loose Airspun. What am I saying? Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is in translucent. I had to, I had to, I had to because this stuff lasted me like a year. It's, it's so worth your money. This is my favorite setting powder. End of story. Next, they had some of these brushes on sale. So I picked up the Wet n Wild Flat Top Brush. I have about five of these, I think. And I just, every time I find them, I buy them and keep them on hand or give them out to people, family members, friends, clients, things like that because I always rem What am I saying? I always recommend these brushes to everyone. They are great. And I believe everything else I got is Wet n Wild as well. So these are super adorable. I have not been able to find them in store yet. Um, so this was the first time that I've been able to actually find them. So I did pick them up. These are their Color Icon Ombre Blushes. This one is in the Princess Daiquiri's and this one is in a purple haze. So they're both very, very pretty. Um, I don't know how they perform, but I am actually super stoked to have like a more purpley violet sort of blush like this. Really, really excited to try these. So if you like these, let me know down in the comments. And if you don't, let me know down in the comments. I wanna know what you guys think of these. And because I've been watching way too many What's New at the Drugstore videos, I found their new gel lip liners and I picked up four of them. I have Never Petal Down, this pinky shade here, Gone Burgundy, Plum Together, and Red The Scene. So this is what they look like. I think Gone Burgundy is probably my favorite, just first impression wise, just looking at the colors. So I want to see what this looks like. Okay, here's the packaging. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so it is a twist applicator. Very nice. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's creamy. I like. Oh. They feel like they are just creamy enough to go on really smoothly and feel very comfortable and not be super drying, but they also feel like they're going to have really good staying power. So I'm really excited about that. The next thing that I got from Wet n Wild is this Get the Skinny Laser Precision Skinny Tip Eyeliner. And I'm pretty sure this is like a marker felt tip eyeliner, but it's like a super tiny one. Ugh. Maybelline or CoverGirl. I don't know. I tried like the little tiny pencil version from the drugstore and hated it. So hopefully in this little marker form, oh, that's cute. Hopefully in this little marker form, I will like it a lot better. And it is teeny tiny. So my thoughts for this was that, you know, you could get right on the tip of your wing and just sharpen it up because you could have so much control with this and just get that perfect slim line. So I am excited to try this. I got it in black. I don't know if I make it in any other color. Um, I didn't see it. Why do I constantly, I literally throw everything. I didn't see this in any other color, um, but I would have gotten black anyway. It, that's what it is. The last Wet n Wild thing that I purchased from Walgreens is their new Photo Focus Foundation. I've heard mixed reviews about this, so I would like to just try it out on myself, you know, and see how it goes. I got Buff Bisque, that is the shade that I purchased. This is a new product, by the way. These are all new as far as I understand, except the ombre blush. Um, so here's what it looks like. It has a little paddle, which I kind of wish it was a pump, but the paddle is better than just like dumping it onto my hand, I think. So I don't absolutely hate the packaging. I mean, it's glass, has nice plastic cap, so it's not awful. I think these are $5.99. So if this works out and I like it, I mean, it's a whole ounce, so that's quite a bit of product for $5.99. So hoping, hoping, hoping that I love this. Okay, moving on to Walmart next. I got this Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner. This is like one of my favorite lip liners of all time. I love, love, love the tip of this, how it's like slanted. It makes it so freaking easy to line your lips. These are so comfortable. They wear all day. They're great to wear alone or under stuff. Love them. This is in the shade Addiction. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite. I love this for every day, so repurchase that. Then I also got this. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo, and this is in St. Lucia, St. Lucia. However the heck you say that, I don't. No. This is what it looks like. You have your bronzer here and then your blush here. It just comes in this nice little matte black compact. Upon looking at it, it does look glittery, like little chunks of gold glitter. Here are swatches. This blush color is stunning. Um, you can see the gold flakes a lot more in the blush. I'm sorry, I swatched it way over here. Let me try again. There, that's a little better. You can see it a little better. So you can see the gold flakes uh, better in the blush than you can in the bronzer, which I actually kind of would prefer if it was going to be one over the other. I don't really want like a super glittery bronzer. Um, but hopefully when I pick this up with my brush, it will not look quite as glittery. But the color I absolutely love. It's like this muted peachy color. I don't even know, but it's really pretty. I'm excited for that. Next, I picked up some e.l.f. skincare. This is their Hydrating Gel Milk Cleanser, their Hydrating Bubble Mask right here, and then the Exfoliator Scrub. So I've tried these, tried this twice, this once, and this once. So um, I have to try these a little bit more. So far, I really like this. It's not too abrasive, really makes my skin really soft. I am just going to leave it in the shower and use it a couple times a week. This hydrating gel melt cleanser really does like melt your makeup right off your face. So it is like a gel um, and you basically just rub it on your face and wash it off and your makeup just melts right off. I don't know if you're supposed to use it on your eyes. You're probably not, but I was a little daredevil and tried it on my eyes because I just really wanted it to work and it burned and stung. It did remove my eye makeup, but not any better than like a normal makeup wipe would. And those don't burn my eyes. So I'm going to use this strictly for my face, but I do really like it. And the bubble mask, I have used this once. Basically you just like 
push this and then some product comes off the top. So I do like that, the whole packaging concept of it. I think they're really, really pretty. First time I was just not really impressed. It didn't even like bubble up on me and it says you're supposed to feel some kind of cooling sensation. I didn't feel or see any of that. It made my skin soft, but I could also just use you know, a sheet mask and have the same effect. I wanted to definitely pick this up just kind of for the experience, you know, a bubble mask. It just sounds really cool, but it just, I don't know. It didn't really work for me, but I'm going to try this out and keep using it because I know so many people love it. I've seen it work in videos and photos and things. So I know that it does bubble. I know that it does work. I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know. I need to keep trying, I guess. And the last thing that I picked up from Walmart is just this glass jar with this like gold scallopy little detail-y doodads on the bottom. These were like Christmas decorations, so it was half off. So I think I got this for, I don't know, $5. So I just thought about like throwing some lipsticks or something in here, just putting it in my beauty room, maybe even flowers or something. I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. It was on clearance and I liked it. So I picked it up. That is everything I got from Walmart. Now we will move on to Target. Everything that I got at Target was from the dollar spot. They had super, super cute, like Valentine's Day decorations and stuff. So I just raided that whole place. I was there for probably like an hour, just looking at absolutely everything. So I picked some stuff up for my beauty room, for pictures, just, I love dollar spot. It just, it hits me right here, you know, just, just right there. First thing is just this little, baby pink tin, super simple, super cute. This was $3. Um, so I thought about, again, using this for storage or just using it to decorate in my room, to put flowers in, something. It's just adorable. Next thing that I got, this is just kind of the same deal. This was also $3. So um, it's just this little ceramic jar and it has a little gold heart on the lid and I just thought it was super cute. So I'm gonna find a spot in my room for it. My room is mostly gold and white, so I am really excited for this. The next thing that I picked up are these little wood clip garland hearts and they have, if you can tell, little, what are these called? Why am I like blanking? What are these called? <laughs> Clothes pins. They have little clothespins here so you can hang pictures from them like this. These were $3. Um, I thought about using these for like a Valentine's Day themed picture for Instagram. And then I think after I use these for Valentine's Day photos, I will paint them white or something and hang them in my beauty room and hang pictures from them or something. I don't know. I'll find a use for them somehow, some way. Next, I picked up a couple little bags for pictures. I like to use these as props. This one is like rose gold glitter basically just like covered in glitter it's a little wristlet super simple super cute i like it this was i don't know how much this was three dollars this cute little white pouch was also three dollars it has these little scalloped edges on it and a gold zipper i just thought it was so cute and i just wanted to use it for pictures and to store stuff in because I'm a sucker for things of cuteness. I don't know. And then on here, just very faintly, it says bag of tricks. So it's just meant to be a makeup bag, you know what I'm saying? Then these are only a dollar, so I picked them up. They're uh, 2017 calendars. This one has some really bright, fun, pretty designs in it. Really pretty. And then this one which is probably my favorite. It's just really simple. It just hangs from this little twine right here. And it has just different uh, black and white designs for the months. You know what I'm saying? Little simple things like this really make me happy and it was only a dollar, so I don't know. I'm gonna use it for something. And this thing, oh my goodness. I have been looking for something like this forever. Everyone but me seems to have one. And I always ask them where they got it, and they say Kmart, but uh, we don't have a Kmart around here, and I can't find it online, and it's driving me bonkers. Absolutely bananas. But I found this at Target. It's gold and white, little, like, tray doodad thingy, you know what I mean? And I picked it up. It was, I took the package off of it. How much is this? Maybe this was $5? I don't know, but I really like it. It's really pretty. Thought about using it for photos, putting it as a drawer organizer on my shelves in my beauty room to store things in somewhere. So I love it. And the last thing that I picked up 
was this glass frame. This was $5 at the dollar spot. And basically you just open this up, stick a picture in there, close it up and hang it on the wall. And I just think that somewhere in here, it's going to look super, super cute. I'm not sure what I want to put in here yet, but I will find something and I think it'll just look really pretty with the rest of my gold. It's not like overwhelmingly gold. It's just, you know, a little bit on the edges. So I think it'll be a nice accent piece and I like it. And that is everything from my collective haul. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like haul videos and you liked this haul video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more haul videos for you in the future. So please do subscribe if you are not already. That would mean a whole lot to me. You can also join the InstaFam and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave that information right here for you as well as down below. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you so very much and I will see you next time.